I'm Victor, and you're watching Weather News. It's time for our weather section. Take it away, Ron. Thanks. All right, folks, so this week in Southern California, it's going to be expected to be mid-70s all week, with a slight chance of rain Thursday night. So get your raincoats out. And over here in Africa, it's been very hot, reaching over 100 degrees all week. And last but not least, down here in Montana, it's been extremely hot than normal, which is causing those icebergs to melt. Watch out, they're in trouble. Back to you, Victor. Thanks, Ron. Speaking of icebergs, our local reporter Rhonda is down in Montana with a special guest. Off to you, Rhonda. I'm on the glacier right now! It's a little bit cold, but I'm maybe to survive! Hi, I'm here today with John, who's a local park ranger at Glacier National Parks. How are you today, John? I'm just dandy. So John, how does climate change affect you? Well, I work at Glacier National Park and over the past decade I have noticed a decline in the formation of the glacier ice caps and I believe that this is due to the fossil fuels being released into the atmosphere. Some people do not believe in climate change because where they live they do not see it happening drastically. So John, what are some ways we can improve or prohibit climate change? I believe that we need to educate the world on the effects that fossil fuels have on the Earth's climate. Thank you for joining us today, John. I had a great time. <laughs> Some problems due to climate change are heavy snowfall, extreme heat, sea levels rising, and changes in rainfall patterns. Thanks for that, Ron. And now we have a local expert, Professor Connor, to talk about climate change. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us tonight, Connor. Glad to be here. So tell me a little bit about yourself. So I've been studying climate change for about 15 years now, and I've been doing on-site research all my life. Cool. So what would you like to tell our audience tonight about climate change? Well, due to the combustion of fossil fuels, the concentration of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere has been increasing alarmingly. Uh, because of this, global temperature on average has increased by 0 0.6 to 1 degrees Celsius till the 20th century. Um, hurricanes, droughts, coral deaths, you name it, are just a few of the natural disasters due to climate change. So we have a commercial break coming up, but do you have any last words? Yeah, um, just the study of climate change is not limited to scientists and researchers alone. Today, even the common person wants to be extremely aware of climate change and the effects and contribute in the best way that they can to save themselves and the earth at large, and I expect you all to do the same. So thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, no problem. So thank you for joining us tonight on Weather News. Tune in later to find out how big those Kardashian butts really are. Because 